Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to test out my Hiken Plain Air watercolor set. I wanted to see how it goes. I'm getting ready to go with my boyfriend next month down south to southern Ohio and do some hiking. So I would like to try my stuff out. I just want to show you guys the view of what I'm seeing right now. It is so pretty. Look at that water. It's just glistening. But it is quite beautiful today, I would have to say. And I'm going to sit down, do some painting, and we'll see what I come up with. I want to test out my hiking set. Okay, now that we're back in the studio, I would like to say that um, this was the finished product. I just did a simple leaf. It was kind of hot, hot and this, I just um, I just really wanted to just to test it out. I, I haven't used the micro, well not the micro, but the portable painter um, but a couple times and I really wanted to see how it did with hiking. So, now that we're back, I'll go over supplies that I used and let you know my thoughts and feelings on the portable painter. Was This is, I was using the Bohong um, sketchbook. It's for my plein air adventures. I used to, um, I'm trying to keep this one for specifically for plain air, although there is a couple, one messing around and a couple just doodling. But anyway, um, the paper is one, it's cold press, it's 100% cotton, and it feels like arches. And it is um, the smaller size out of them, which I kind of like. It's hard. Um, it has like a faux leather, um, but it's kind of nice with it being hard because if you, if I wasn't using the portable painter, I could clip this water pot to it and take a magnet clip and like one of these and use it for a separate palette. And I will show you that in a separate video because that does go for another setup of mine. But we're not talking about that today. So we got the sketchbook. I keep with me when I go hiking. Um, one of these butt cushions. It's a Wago brand. And I have a strap that I can clip it to a carabiner and strap it. But it fit into my fanny pack. Or in one of those waist packs. But I don't wear it around the waist. I typically just kind of throw it over the shoulder. Or, you know, like kind of like a purse. But um, I have this one because I'll carry a water bottle. And then it has a pocket. I'll keep a binder clip in case I need it. Um, I normally keep paper towels in here. But they got stuck in a different spot. And then I keep a Sharpie. I keep the very basics. A Sharpie a mechanical pencil, three travel watercolor brushes, and they were a cheap set um, off of Walmart, um, not Walmart, but Amazon, and a water brush pen. And that is what I use today, because I think really when I'm hiking, I don't, I think these are honestly going to be out. I think I'm just going to use the water brush pen. Um, so I can just carry drinking water and it's going to keep it, I think, down. Although, um, which brings me to my point, the portable painter, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the pros, the cons. There wasn't too many cons, to be honest. Um, the only con I can think of is it's a little bigger. Um, it's not huge. 
if in comparison to the sketchbook, it's about the size. So it's not bad. It fit into, by the way, I got this um, fanny pack from Walmart. It was like $15, but it fit in there nicely with the butt cushion. I could put the paint in the front um, zipper. There's pockets inside as well, which I kept the brushes. But when you're hiking, you're not going to want to carry a lot. And you're just going to sketch, I think. Well, at least for me, I'm going to sketch smaller um, smaller things. I don't want to sketch the whole forest quite yet. I, especially my book's small. So I'm not really... And if I'm hiking, I'm normally hiking with my boyfriend. I don't want him sitting around for two hours for me to finish a picture. So... That being said, let me move that out of the way. The portable painter is actually great. Now, when you first get it, I'm gonna go ahead and undo it. These are the water containers, and I'm gonna get to that. But what I typically do, what I did anyway, and because I've used this a couple times, um, this probably will be honestly about my fourth time today but I like to use something quite a bit before I go and review it okay and then it these just slide on you pour your water in here or you can set your paint brushes pen pencil whatnot I make a key card of the colors. Those are my colors. I use Hansa Yellow Light, New Cambodge, Quinn Gold, Feral Red, Quinn Rose, Moon Glow, Green Appetite Genuine, Viridian Ultramarine, Burnt Sienna Light, Yellow Ochre, and Neutral Tint. However, um, I wasn't really happy the first couple times I've used it. I didn't think 12 colors was enough. I you know, I adult color and in adult coloring, you want all the colors. So the palette is a little messy because this is what I use today, obviously. Um, I ended up ordering off of the actual Porter Painter, Portable Painter website. Um, I ended up getting the Micro Portable Painter and the extras um wells that come in it as such and i will show you that at a different time but you when you you have the choice of you can order where the paintbrush goes in the original classic this is the portable painter classic and you can put these in for more spaces i decided to do the double i don't i didn't fill up all the colors but i also have dioxide purple um i can't remember i will have to swatch it i think that's a burnt umber i'm pretty sure that's burnt umber um english red and potter's pink or that's not pot, um, English red, but Indian red. I love Indian red for buildings and some stones. It, and Potter's pink is wonderful for different things. I love it. Anyway, um, it worked quite well. I like it because you can sit down and honestly just put it over your leg or you can stand. Um, Trying to think what I can say about it. It has enough mixing space, which is a lot really nice because a lot of um, travel palettes do not. And I didn't like the first because the paintbrush was crap. I don't even know where I put it. It's probably up in a jar. I didn't throw it away, but I never used it and I didn't even keep it in there. There was no point. I would end up losing it anyway. So what I tended to do, I was thrilled as soon as i seen online through the fur girl crafter uh lindsay she's wonderful i seen through her that they had the the new slots that you could put in the wells 
so I ordered them and I'm really glad I did I haven't tested out the micro portable painter at all so the next video will probably more than likely for watercolor will be this one I want to really test it out so but it's really lightweight um, it does come with the extra wells so you can switch out the colors I have not um, some people were saying that theirs didn't stick very well um, Sarah Burns said actually that they didn't stick but they stick for me I didn't have no problems so um, I am looking forward to doing the review on the portable painter but this really was quite ideal I have to admit I think it's gonna be a favorite of mine and I am definitely going to take it with me now that I've used it on my hiking trip with my boyfriend. I am looking forward to it. And then um, the elastic, you know, you want to keep on. And you do not want to lose this. So when I'm sanding it, as you can see, I put it on the side of the lake. You just don't want to lose it. But thank you, you guys. If uh, you like the video, you like the contact, please give it a boop. That means a like, as Christy Rice would say. And thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. And I am looking forward to the next video. Please like and subscribe. Bye.